All right, welcome to creating a cyborg girl in Photoshop part three. So this is where we left off. And uh, in between tutorials, I realized uh, some things. I wanted to move the figure up. So just grabbing the move tool and dragging upwards. And uh, to give that feeling of, uh, you know, she's high above things like uh, city. And I thought some sort of cool structure like in uh, like the dark night or something, you know, with uh, top of some sort of structure building. I added a blue layer and um, basically added a white fill for um, the shapes, uh, like a silhouette. And I do this quite often with uh, imagery. I'll use it and uh, basically just take a hard round brush and apply shape dynamics, but no transfer attributes at all. And uh, just paint in a uh, flat color. And you can replace the color at whatever color you want. But with shape dynamics, you can actually make thick to thin lines um, like the hair here um, but allow it to be um, you know, refined and then use the eraser tool with the exact same settings so uh, just a round brush with uh, shape dynamics apply but no transfer that way you always get 100 percent opacity with each and I do this all on another layer okay so the reason why is you can use this for masking you can use it for um, uh, when you paint future layers, uh, you can basically clip it in there. Now you're seeing here a city uh, that's blocked out. I'm going to show you how to do this real easy in another program called Maya, which you can download for free if you go to autodesk.com. As a student, uh, you can get the latest version. Here it is. All I'm going to do is go up to the uh, Create menu and um, go down to Polygon Primitives and choose Cube. And you have to have interactive creation turned on. And basically, it tells you what to do. You just click and drag with the mouse and drag upwards. Now, once you draw not one, you can hit the G key and repeat that action. And that allows you to repeat over and over. And you basically can, you know, draw it whatever square you want and then just move up. Pretty easy to do. Now, I'm rotating the canvas here by holding down Alt with the left click of the mouse at the same time. So with my left hand, because I'm right-handed, I hold down the Alt key and then uh, use the mouse to click and rotate. You can use a little 3D cube up there, but uh, honest, I'm not a big fan of the 3D cube. So you can just, uh, you know, Alt right click and, uh, or I'm sorry, Alt left click to spin around. All right, so uh, just adding a few more buildings here. And um, if you want to zoom in and out, you can hold Alt and right click with the mouse. And if you want to pan side to side or up and down, hold Alt and middle click. That's just basic navigation in Maya. So uh, I'm basically trying to lay out, you know, these different uh, cubes just representing a basic city. And you don't have to worry about it, you know, where do I start drawing because it's all going to align directly flat on the grid. It's just even though the grid's smaller, it doesn't matter. It's just going to line up. Now I tap the space bar, just tap it. You don't want to hold it down, but just tap it. You get the four views, and you can grab the move tool over here on the left and basically uh, grab the arrows. You can click on any of these cubes and basically move them around and adjust them however you want. So that's basically the idea here, is just moving it around wherever I want to see them um, to kind of get the general idea of, you know, a city. And then if you want to maximize the view again, you can tap the space bar again here. So that's what I did. If you notice there was a little hot key that popped up, that's if you hold down the space bar. Now to change the, the view to solid, you can hit number five on your keyboard. And uh, you notice here I'm duplicating a couple of these cities very quick, or buildings I should say, these blocks. All you gotta do is click on it and hit control D. And then you just basically click and drag and you get another version which is pretty cool. So there's just a couple of hotkeys you gotta know. Control D, uh, and then the Alt left click, middle click, and right click with the mouse to navigate. Besides that, I mean, you can pretty much create your own city. <laughs> you can, uh, again here, I'm holding Alt right click to zoom in. Now these three little icons up here, if you click on the second one and the third one there, you'll basically uh, show the viewpoint, you know, what you're basically gonna see through the render. You don't actually have to show that to render. Um, you can just kinda line up as best you can and uh, do a render and then zoom out or zoom in a little bit. So if you didn't quite get that, that's okay. 
Now I'm going to rotate around, try and find a, a cool view that I like. Not quite sure here. Um, in the end, I think I preferred the first render. So you can do several different renders and try them out. You know, see what you think. Um, but I think I'm finding one that I kind of like here. And uh, basically, I'm just going back to the Photoshop file to look at the angle, uh, and match it. This isn't going to be exact perspective, but it kind of gives you a, a pretty good idea uh, without you know doing a crazy modeling. Again, just duplicating by hitting Control D, Control and plus D, the D key, to duplicate. And at this point, I like so I'm going to render this scene. And it, there's four little clappers at the top. Um, here and what you're going to do is you're going to click on the second clapper to render. Um, before I do that I want to scale some of these buildings so I hit R and I can uh, scale just the scale tool over there in the side. So I'm grabbing any of these buildings and doing that. You don't have to scale them you can just draw them tall, small, big, however you want. And um, you know, I'm kind of being finicky with this by again tapping space bar to get to the top view and then going back here and then all you gotta do is click on that second clapper there's the clappers there and it gives you a little render so um, I'm just using the default settings for Maya software I'm not doing anything special I'm gonna go file save image and what's really important is uh, the image format so at the bottom there make sure you choose PNG and then give it a name you know, like city here um, PNG will, will basically be that alpha transparency so the black empty areas around the buildings will be transparent. And then uh, to go in to open up that image in Photoshop, I'm going to, m under the documents, and choose Maya, and then double click on that. Choose projects, double click on that. And you'll probably go to the default location. Uh, I have an actual project created, so I'm going into that. And then uh, choosing images. So you would choose default project images. And then click open. And there it is. So now I'm just dragging up again, holding the mouse, drag down, and then release. And then it's really small because it's a small resolution, but that's okay. I'm just, again, using this as a guide. So I'm just going to hit Control T uh, to basically resize it. I just zoomed out a little bit by hitting Control minus uh, a couple times. And, uh, you know, scale it appropriately to whatever I want. Now, once I have it scaled, I could always use some you know, rectangular marquee tool or the... Um, the uh, lasso tool to straighten out lines and extend the scene. I think I like the original version though. So again, that's just blocking out your scene. We'll see you in the next tutorial in Photoshop CS6. See you soon.